Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. I'm here in Luxembourg, Luxembourg City, Luxembourg, and I picked up a bottle of Roberto Cavalli Womo. This right here, so we're gonna go ahead and review this one. It's a brand new release, a brand new designer release. Also, if you stick around till the end of the video, I will be doing a giveaway of a five mil decant of Womo. So please stay tuned. Another fragrance has been launched by an Italian designer and it's called Womo again. So this is probably like the, what, the fourth Womo that I've heard of in the last five years. So anyway, I really actually fell in love with the bottle. I like the black bottle. That's kind of one of the reasons why I was really, really looking forward to checking this one out. As I said, the color of the bottle is really awesome. It, it kind of almost reminds me of Versace, sort of. Maybe perhaps they're... Um, uh, one of their fragrances kind of looks like this, but this is actually Roberto Cavalli, another Italian designer house. And uh, it's got the emblem in the front right here. Uh, as you can see, uh, the name Roberto Cavalli and Womo right here. And it's a black bottle, but if you look at it through the light, you can see the, uh, the actual juice in it. So it's kind of clear, but if you're not looking at in the light, it's completely black, which is actually another unique thing. So Roberto Cavalli fragrances are also released by Cody, the big manufacturer who manufactures many different brands, including things like Calvin Klein and, and the countless celebrity fragrances. This is my very first Roberto Cavalli, uh, and this is the newest men's release. And again, I was really excited. The other thing that I was also excited about was the note of honey in this fragrance. So that got me really interested. Sure enough, what I smelled was actually pretty decent, so I picked up the bottle. So Roberto Cavalli Womo launched in 2016, last year. It retails for 87 euros, suggested retail. I haven't seen any prices for the US, so I don't know if this officially got a release in the States, but it is available at discounters and you can find it for about $60, somewhere around there. So check that out or pick up a sample or a decant. We got in the notes here for the top, we've got violet and saffron. For the heart notes, honey and lavender. And finally, in the base notes, we've got cedar, patchouli, and tonka bean. The nose behind this fragrance is Christoph Reno. Christoph has done many fragrances that I've actually smelled, and this is the latest uh, fragrance he's done. As I said, the reason I like this, uh, the idea of this fragrance was the bottle, for one, uh, and the honey note. So I, as I smelled it in the store, uh, I was testing it for a few few uh, perfume shop visits here in Europe. I liked what I smelled, but it kept reminding me of something else. It was decent enough of a designer release to pick up, actually, as I said. Reminding me of something uh, that I can't put my, uh, kind of put my nose on right now, but um, it also kind of hinted at the new Cartier L'Envol, the Cartier, which also has honey as a note. So could that be redundant? Uh, not necessarily because I still prefer L'Envol de Cartier a lot more than Roberto Cavalli's uh, Womo, but um, this is a pretty unique scent. It, it, actually, when you first spray this, it starts out pretty generic. It kind of has this like a basic, very generic designer uh, top note. And as soon as you get past that, it starts becoming kind of unique in, in a unique kind of almost niche quality like scent that I have not smelled in designers. The honey kicks in in the mid notes with lavender and for some reason there's a little bit of like a, almost like a uh, aromatic kind of a cumin -y type of a note in here which I don't find listed in the notes but um, that kind of kind of takes over and that's when it starts becoming a little more unique a little more interesting for me to wear but unfortunately at the top it's just pretty uh, basic and generic. And then throughout the life of the fragrance, basically it becomes into uh, a woody, uh, patch woody, but not, not so much uh, heavy on the patch, but more of a kind of like a, a woody cedar with the tonka bean with hints of light patchouli. Again, it's, it's not a groundbreaking release for a designer. Perhaps that's why it's not getting a release in the States. I have not seen it anywhere in the States, of course. And in fact, come to think of it, I hadn't seen Salvatore Ferragamo in the States either. I, not in any of the stores that I've visited, but uh, I think it is sold at the Sa Salvatore Ferragamo boutique. But this one is actually completely missing. It's been a while since it's been, it's been out. It's been probably uh, a good uh, half a year, six months or so. 
and I think this is overall a decent release. Performance on this one is a little more closer to the skin with the first few hours give doing any kind of projection it's going to do. It starts out pretty big but um, throughout the, the rest of the life of the fragrance it's more of a skin scent so it's not something that you're going to wear to wow people with. It's more of a softer scent but then again that, that first initial blast at the top is what the, uh, the, the big uh, projection is going to happen. And then also for the performance of this one, for however long it lasts, for me it's uh, very, very um, uh, close to around five and a half hours. I give or take maybe, maybe pushing six hours, but it's not something that's lasting a really long time. So Roberto Cavalli's Womo was launched in 2016, middle of 2016. It's an eau de toilette concentration. I wasn't able to find a, a retail price for the States, but it was 87, it's suggested retail 87 euros here in Europe. The nose behind the fragrance is Christophe Reynaud. And uh, if you're looking for this one, it is available at discounters for around 50, 60 dollars. But I picked it up here for 87 euros. Um, and I really fell in love with the bottle and I like the color of the bottle. So uh, that's kind of why I wanted this one. And the scent itself is pretty unique. But then again, it did remind me of something I have smelled in the past. So that kind of uh, made it a little like not so original. But then I can't remember what that was. So I kind of wanted to play around with it and to experience it and wear it. So is this a groundbreaking release? No, it's not. Is it a decent release? Yes, it is. Um, if I think it might appeal to people that are more into designers and it is a little unique after you get past the opening because as I said the opening is kind of my, my least favorite part about the fragrance but it's not very long-lived so once you get past that kind of like very generic uh, designer uh, opening it becomes a very unique scent and it's one that I enjoyed wearing over and over again. So do check out Roberto Cavalli's Womo. Um, hopefully it'll make it to the States. I'm not sure if it will. Um, I, don't even, I don't even know how successful Roberto Cavalli fragrances are to begin with. So perhaps that's why it's not making it, but I'm sure it'll come to the States eventually. But I did say that they are available at some discounters, so you might be able to find some good deals on this stuff. Or if you want to just test it out, get yourself a sample or decant and test it out to make sure it's something you want to wear. As I said at the beginning of the video, you will have a chance at winning a 5 mil decant of Womo. All you have to do is be subscribed here to this channel and put a comment down as to why you want to win Roberto Cavalli's Womo. Also, please put down uh, what note in this fragrance excites you the most about this fragrance as that is going to be a requirement for the giveaway and make sure you list your state you live in as this is only open to United States residents. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video review for Roberto Cavalli's Womo. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and giveaways. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.